Hey everyone, Tanil here, and I'm coming to you from the couch today. Not down at the beach today, it's a bit windy. Um, but I have a question for you today. Today's question is what makes you feel the most alive? So I guess what makes you feel the most alive, um, you could take that to mean uh, your most energetic or your happiest, but usually it's like your happy place. What is it that does that for you? Let me know in the comments because I'd be really keen to hear what it is. Maybe it's when you're competing in a dog sport. Maybe it's getting out in nature. Maybe it's when you're with your significant other or maybe you like some extreme sports or uh, maybe it's when you're traveling or maybe it's just when you're wearing your fancy underwear at home. So the reason that I want you to think about what this is is because it's important to know what we're working for and creating more opportunities to make sure that we get back to that that thing that makes us feel at our most alive at our best so for me there's probably a few things but definitely out in nature so if i'm out on the paddleboard on the ocean or under the ocean usually things to do with the ocean scuba diving um, free diving, got Lola here with me today, say hi. So um, definitely being under the water is my happy place. And that's the thing that sort of I wanna always get back to and that's what I'm working for when I'm working. So that helps with keeping motivated and keeping going if you know times are hard and we need to push through. It's keeping that, um, I guess, that reason why in our mind all of the time. So let me know if you're tuning in, say hi. And I wanna tie back this, um, I guess, reason why motivation to something you can use to help yourself be motivated. And if you can't get out to do your big thing, so maybe like for instance, my big thing would be traveling and scuba diving. Well, obviously I can't do that every day. Either the weather's not right, um, or we don't have time, or you know other, other commitments, other things to do. You can't do that all the time. So there's other little things that we can do to help us feel at our best and then perform at our best. And I made a comment earlier about wearing your favorite underwear. Well, if you're waking up and you're not feeling mm -hmm. the most, what are you growling at? Um, the most motivated, then what little things can you do to make yourself feel good so that you can get moving and get into it more? So today I'm having a good hair day that makes me um, more motivated and feel better about doing stuff like this. And I set that up to happen because I know if I wash my hair first thing in the morning and blow dry it, it's gonna sit better and that's gonna make a difference to how I feel. Doing a face of makeup, even if I'm not seeing clients um, or I'm not having to leave the house. Getting dressed into actual clothes, not sitting around in my pajamas. So dressing up, making sure that I look good so that I feel good, not necessarily for anyone else, but for myself. And that's something that works for me. If I need to, you know, give myself a kickstart, for you it might be something different. Hey Lizelle, thanks for tuning in. Um, so what else? The underwear thing so that can make you feel a little bit special maybe it's your little secret um, what else cleaning up an area so tidying the area that you either have to start the day in like making the bed or tidying up the kitchen um, or tidying up your office space or tidying up your car if you're anything like me if you've got a dog training car or something like that it can be pretty messy and chaotic and things just kind of everywhere. And it always just feels good to clear that out, make it more organized again before I go off to see clients and start the day. And when you have like clients booked in and you have something that you have to show up to, you might have noticed that if you start out feeling not very motivated, but you have that commitment, by the time you're there and you're getting into it, you're starting to feel more motivated again 
because you took action and you started doing something productive because you had to. So on the days where you maybe don't have a client appointment to do that for you, keep in mind that when you just take those little actions as if you have to and you just start one thing, that can give you the kickstart you need to get moving for the rest of the day. So that's my tip for today. And while I've got you here, I'm going to remind you that we have the um, $37 program creation kit on offer at the moment. And I have my printouts today, since I'm not down at the beach in the wind, of what is in there. So we have swipe files of different program examples. So three different programs that you can have a look at and you can copy them if you like or tweak them to suit your business. Then we have swipe files of program descriptions. So the descriptions that we use to explain to the client um, what the benefit is of the program that they're signing up for. A swipe file of possible inclusions. So different ideas of things that you can include in your programs to make that up that you may not have thought of before or that could add something to it to make it stand out that only you offer and we also have program sales script example in there and things to say um, to respond if someone is on the fence about signing up to one of your programs each of those has explainer videos. There's also a breakdown of a $100,000 year reverse engineered to show you how simple that can be to create that for yourself. Explainer videos with each section, so it's like a full little mini course in there and all of those files that you can keep and tweak and use for yourself and do what you like with. And that's all only $37, like a dog training business in a box. I'll put the link in the comments and the description of this video so you can check that out and uh, grab that and have something to add some extra flair to your business and your programs. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comment, uh, comments as well or just say hi. And I hope you have a fantastic day. It's nearly the weekend. I hope you've got something fun planned for the weekend, whether you're stuck at home or you're able to leave the house wherever you are in the world and have a great one. All right, have a great day.